Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today we're continuing to look at new commanders from March of the Machines. And as I'm sure you've learned from this video's title and thumbnail, today we'll be building a deck around Slimefoot and Squee. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Slimefoot and Squee is a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three legendary Fungus Goblin. Whenever they enter the battlefield or attack, we create a 1-1 one, one green sapperling creature token. Additionally, by paying 4 mana and sacrificing a sapperling, we can return Slimefoot and Squee and up to one other target creature from our graveyard to the battlefield. We can only do this as a sorcery, though. I love the combination of these two. We've got the recast ability of Squee and the sapperling creation of Slimefoot in a single card. Looking at this card, I figured we could have fun with the sacrifice effects and build ourselves a good old sapperling aristocrats deck. I also wanted to make sure our deck came in at under $100. I'm not sure what Slimefoot and Squee will be priced at, but I'm hoping they'll be under $5 or so. At the time we're recording, the rest of the deck comes in at $95, not counting the commander. Now, Aristocrats decks have three moving parts. Sacrifice outlets, creatures to sacrifice, and payoffs for sacrificing those creatures. In addition to all that, we want to ensure that our deck lines up with our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, 1 sudden I win card. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Savage Lands, Sulphurous Mire, Highland Forest, Woodland Cemetery, Geothermal Bog, Wooded Ridgeline, Woodland Chasm, Smoldering Marsh, Cinder Glade, Haunted Mire, Sulphurous Springs, Carplusen Forest, Lanoir Wastes, Rakdos Guildgate, Gruel Guildgate, Golgari Guildgate, Bajuka Bog, Myriad Landscape, Evolving Wilds, Terramorphic Expanse, Four Swamps, Four Mountains, and Six Forests make up our land base. Ignoble Hierarch, Sakura Tribe Elder, Burnished Heart, Soul Ring, Underseller Myconid, Mahati Emporium Master, Solemn Simulacrum, Nature's Lore, Farseek, Cultivate, Kodama's Reach, Rampant Growth, and Circuitous Root make up our mana ramp package. Fungal Rebirth, Nevada Primeval Warden, Skull Clamp, Grim Harospex, Disciple of Bolus, Village Rites, Altars Reap, Moldervine Reclamation, Big Score, and Painful Truths help us to dig through our deck or to bring stuff back from our graveyard. Artifact Mutation, Deathspore Thalid, Necrogenesis, Braid's Arisen Nightmare, Reclamation Sage, Plague Crafter, Beast Within, Return to Nature, Chaos Warp, and Putrefy make up our spot removal package. Blasphemous Act is our only board wipe. Overall, we should be the ones with the largest board, but having one as an option is always nice. 
Viseraseer, and Carrion Feeder make up our dedicated sacrifice outlets. But don't worry, we have a few more that are multi-purpose. And don't forget the power of Skull Clamp in a deck with a lot of 1-1 tokens. Zulaport Cutthroat, Blood Artist, Mayhem Devil, Sir Conrad the Grim, Poison Tip Archer, Bastion of Remembrance, Vindictive Vampire, and Garna Bloodfist of Keld all hurt our opponents when our creatures die, while Drivnod Carnage Dominus doubles those triggers. And I know that impact triggers doesn't trigger off of death, but it does help damage our opponents. Deathbloom Thalid, Elvish Farmer, Golgari Germination, Jund Battle Mage, Michaelith, Sapperling Symbiosis, Savage Thalid, Slimefoot the Stowaway, Scatter the Seeds, Spore Crown Thalid, Spore Mound, Spore Sower Thalid, Sporogenesis, Sprouting Thranix, Utopia Mycon, Verdant Force, and everyone's favorite token generator, Chatterfang Squirrel General. Now that we have our deck list, we should compare it to our checklist. 49 mana sources split between 36 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. A little light, but our deck is pretty low to the ground as far as mana value, so that's fine. 10 pieces of card advantage. 10 pieces of spot removal. 1 board wipe. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. 1 sudden I win card in Blasphemous Act. No, seriously, if we have a board full of creatures and 2 or 3 aristocrat effects, a single board wipe could end the game, or at least put us so far ahead that our opponents won't catch up. Add to the fact that we have quite a bit of graveyard recursion in our deck means that our spot removal will probably be focused on taking out Leyline of the Void or similar effects. I know that a lot of people are excited for Slimefoot and Squee, as well as the new praying cards in general. Which one's your favorite? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Damon. One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Waffles, Jiraiya, Muffins, Marcus, Phoenix of Ice, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Brian, Josh, Sean, Oton, Richard, and Bob Zombie. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Damon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Damon.